uh, Jason here again at the uh, Retro Computer Festival uh, 2017 and I'm here with Andy Spencer from the Retro Computer Museum. Hello sir. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, no really problem. appreciate having you guys here. Um, this is the end of the exhibition now so um, unfortunately there's not a great deal to see and everybody's packing away behind us but yes. Yeah. But we've got one last thing to show yeah. which is kind of pretty special. Yeah it is pretty, pretty special. What is it? It's a prototype CD drive for the 1200. Right. But it's actually more than that because it's actually turns a CD1200 into a, a CD32. Um, we believe there were 20 made. Right. And we think that this might be the last one in existence. The <laughs> last one? Yeah. You know, and you don't know of any we, others out there at no, all? No, none at all. Do you, have there been any others that you've known of before that have just gone well, a while? Or there's, there's a website right. that shows a grey one. Right. And they, they think that was a really, really, really early prototype. But then right. this one seems to be, I don't know, it just seems to be the only one we can find <laughs> anywhere. Um, so, wow. so the engineer, the lead engineer, you know, a lady um, came onto Facebook the other day and said, oh, I helped design that. I designed the CD32 and then designed this afterwards. Right. Um, didn't know any existed. <sighs> and that's quite scary as well. That's amazing. So that's, um, that's where, where we are with it, really. Fantastic. No idea at all. Um, we're, so, we're, so this, this turns your 1200 into, into a effectively CD32. Yeah, CD32. Absolutely. Unfortunately, as you can see, it's um, got a bit of a strange connector on the back. Yeah, um, it and, it, and apparently, I believe it goes into the trapdoor of the 1200. That's what right. we've been led to believe. Um, yeah. We haven't got any cables or any power or anything for it. So unfortunately, it all stays as it is unless any, anybody's got a, a cable for it out there somewhere. Um, but I am, cool, speak, I am going to try and speak to the engineer and see if she can help in any way, shape or form. She might be able to, I don't know. Brilliant. Um, yeah. So how did you get it? It was a barn find. Somebody, somebody cleared out... Um, the um, Cavendish Computer Centre in Leicester a few right. years back, uh -huh. and they literally stuffed it into a barn, a dusty old barn. It was dry, but it was really dusty and horrible. Yeah. And um, they, they phoned me and said, would you come and look at some of this stuff? You know, do you want any of it? Um, they wanted money for it, obviously, because they weren't going to donate it, because they knew what okay. some of it was worth. Yeah. Yeah. I spotted this, literally went, oh my God, walked away from it, because it scared me a little bit, because <laughs> I didn't, really didn't know what it was, and I thought I knew everything about the Amiga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, there's also two Commodore P500s there as well. Nice. And um, we, we made them an offer and they accepted it. Um, and, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad we did because it's... That's unique. It's unique. And yeah. it's a piece of history as well. It is, it? yes, yeah. absolutely. It's, that's, yeah. uh, um, that's, I mean, in terms, what's the, how does the timing work? So the CD32 was... was no, oh, that was after the... The, the uh, 1200, 1200, yeah, yeah. They, they, it's, yeah. So the idea they must have been thinking that there's going to be a lot of software out there for the CD32. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what it was. And I think it was just after this that Commodore were in trouble anyway. Mm. And I think that's why maybe it, it didn't go any further than the prototyping stage, because right. they just haven't got the money to be able to do it. Mm -hmm. I, I guess that anyway. I think it, 90, 93, maybe? I think, something around then, yeah. I think, I think there's yeah. something like this 93. Um, but, yeah, I mean, the truth is, what do we do with it? It's just going to be in a glass cabinet, because... There's nothing else we can do with it. No, no. I think if we did have the leads, I would be, I'd like to check it. Yeah, However, you need to strip it down. Have you taken it apart? Not yet, but I am going to at some point. Um, I will document that when I do that. Yeah, definitely. Because obviously a lot of people will be interested. Uh, there's, we've got some mallets around and hammers and stuff. We can yeah, we could, you do, we, could, we could, yeah, so if you bring it back in, we can do that. Yeah, yeah we could, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be yeah. great, yeah, we, yeah. Could, we could sort if of If we that. hit it with a hammer, that's going to come it's, apart. It will, yeah. yeah. I think, I don't think there's much holding it together anyway. So. <laughs> Uh, there's a few screws here and there. It'll be interesting to see it's, exactly what it is. Because clearly says, on that sort of connector, it's not, well, a, it's well not that's, scuzzy or... That's also interesting as well. Number two, Number two, revision zero. Which is really, really... I don't know, what does that even... Does that mean it's the second of the prototypes? Yeah. Which is, again, it's quite scary. And and you've got the side there, you've got volume and headphone output, so yeah. it probably works independently anyway. And then this side, there was nothing at all, so, you know... We, I you could take know. a guess that connector as well is, well, is the is, same as the one... The, the, sorry, the DC power input is possibly the same one as the... So yes, maybe. Too, maybe. Ma maybe, yes. And then but you could trace that. If you look to the board, you'll be able to trace exactly, the Exactly, yes. So that's what we do. We do need to see what's going on inside. I mean, even this might be, we might be able to decode this to mm. see what, what the hell is going on. Yeah. It, it's just a, just, you know, it's just a little bit of a scary one, really. Also, but. right, left, right, left. So it's got two lots of audio yeah. output. I think it, because about? it went, it would have gone in from oh, the, the Amiga into here, yeah, and so then from there to the TV yeah, or, yeah, yeah. or to that part. Yeah, so it's a little mix of Yeah, because it would have obviously played audio tracks as well. Yeah. But yeah, it's very interesting, isn't it? Well, that's an amazing find. Well done. Well Thank done you. for keeping hold of it and, you know, of, of taking the opportunity to go out and see these things and, and, uh, and keep them preserved. Now it's in a museum, which is awesome. Cheers, um, mate. Yeah, there can't be... Well, there aren't any others. No. Wow. Wow. Cheers. Wow. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, thank you very much indeed. And yes. actually, you've got something else behind you, haven't you? Yes. Oh, yes, that's What's interesting that as well. Um, this, this thing here was in the barn find as well, and it's one of the original Commodore signs. <laughs> and it's, it's quite, you know, it's, it's, it's immaculate, really. It was really dusty <laughs> when we got it. We cleaned it up with baby wipes, and, and, and they're going to keep that as well. So yeah, it's smart. It's, it's just a, a nice piece of you know, history, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, do, you, do you any idea what it was for? You, you know, it was, was it part I, of an exhibition display? I, th or? I think it must have been part of the exhibition display in the shop. I mean, yeah. I seem to remember it being yeah. in the shop as well. I do? Because I actually went into the shop. I mean, at one, one point, one of my uncles worked there. Right. Um, so I had, I had quite a bit to do with the shop and um, sold my original 1200 to them to get a PC. Right. Because I started doing PC stuff as well. But then in the end, I bought it back from them anyway. So I ended up with my original 1200, which is interesting. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure I remember seeing it in the shop, but unfortunately, a lot of the stuff did actually get thrown away as well. Yeah, as it does. But we've, we've saved everything that was in the barn find. and um, Everything? Some, everything, yeah. We, we've, oh, we took the entire lot, yeah. Oh. Um, some of it will be for sale because we just, it's not something we, you know, mm. a lot of the stuff is like 100 copies of a yeah. game here and there. So they, they will be eventually for sale, but right. obviously none of the rare stuff is going anywhere because... We need to keep it and preserve it Absolutely. like you guys do. Yeah. Brilliant stuff. All right. Well, thanks for bringing this stuff along. Um, Thank thanks you. for coming to the, the exhibition. No, Hopefully thanks for having We'll it. see you again next year. Yeah, absolutely, mate. We'll nice be one. Cheers, Andy. Cheers. See you later. That's what I wanted. <laughs>